25. I think he's just realising it now. How much is this here? Dog three. Okay. That's unbelievable. I can't believe he's folded the hand. He just had the <laughs> chance to get the lot. <laughs> John McCreary either knew the board was going to pair the next card or did not read his cards correctly, Gary. It, it's, it's almost inconceivable. Absolutely. I'm uh, absolutely in shock here. He's passed what, what would have been an absolute yeah, monster know. hand. It have had... Uh, Barry Hearn drawing to 10 cards and uh, he's managed to pass it and uh, let Barry Hearn off the hook here. Everything going Barry Hearn's way, including he can apparently darken his opponent's glasses at will. Pass. And that has given Hearn a bundle of chips. And Yannick rang. He folded his flush draw on the flop and would have picked it up on the turn. Amazing stuff. And now with the 8-9, he's going to have to keep on waiting. Cool. Blind on well, blind war here. Mm -hmm. Akurik with the king six. <laughs> and Pound says, okay, let's roll him. I don't have much. And he doesn't. Head up for the next three. Amanda peeling three grapes, oh. and they're all the same flavor. Check. My mum always said never gamble with ladies. I don't know what to do now. <laughs> Check. Graham Brown says peel one off. He's looking to make a full house. Eight or ten would give him the mustard. <coughs> well, it hasn't Check. changed much. McCreary checking his king. He's leading in this pot. And Grand Pound would, would not mind seeing a nine. It would give him a straight. Check, check. River coming now. And it has hit Grand Pound pretty squarely. And all of a sudden, McCreary has found his voice as soon as he made the worst hand. Absolutely. He could have won the pot at any other stage with the bet. And Graham Pound here has uh, finally improved. It's going to cost him 20000 Doesn't know how much he likes it, but I think he's probably going to have to call. He knows uh, John mccreary has got uh, previous for trying to steal pots, so uh, it's going to be too late for him if he... Uh, Folds this, he's going to have to take a stand. And oh, there it is. Well, you're right. It was a crying call, but it was a call all the same. And a full house, queens full of eights, will win this pot. And that 20,000 will come in very handy. Grand pound stack. Actually, the pot was over 50,000. Well. That's put him right back in this. Absolutely. That's just what uh, Graham Powell needed. And uh, I think the rest are going to be unhappy to see him pick up some chips. Sometimes the luck goes with you, sometimes it doesn't, and you just have to accept whatever comes. Barry Hearn, though, firmly in control with over half the chips in play. During this third level of the heat, he's really got off to a rolling start. I don't think I'd want to rule any of the others out yet. Yannick just needs a little bit of luck to uh, get himself back in the hunt. And uh, John McCreary, well, anything can happen with John McCreary still in the game. <laughs> and uh, Graham Pound, you should never ride him out while he's got a chip in a chair. He's won too much played too much and he's a very very strong player so uh, it's still anyone's game but you've got a fancy Baron Her Barry Hearn's not going to give any of his chips away you know, rang the short stack but he's still got 10 big Pass. blinds worth 57,000 and he can afford to fold that king high under the gun around now to pound cool. it looks like he wants to take on the chip leader if the flop is cheap and with really not much at all here Gary no, he, he might actually try and steal the flop if he, if he misses. I think that's kind of part of uh, Graham's uh, game plan in this situation. Six apiece. Hearn's got some lovelies there. Eight, nine suited. You better hope that uh, Graham doesn't... Graham, you better hope he doesn't hit a flush here because uh, he's going to be in trouble if he does. 
three diamonds on the board. And Bowery's get the middle pair. Graham Pound declines his option to bet. And Barry may just fire. I give up. <laughs> Graham says a threat bet was enough. Don't blow too hard. Okay. I'm out. Wow. Give the money to Hearn. That had not much of anything, really. But every chip counts for Baza. Oh, was I winning? <laughs> Come on, lie to me, please. <laughs> There's a shade behind. <laughs> There's a photo in terms of <laughs> Looking at the leaderboard, 31 hands have been played, and we've had a lot of action so far. Barry Hearns played 13 of them and won 11. That's why he's the chip leader. Rang, meanwhile, has been only won two pots. And that's probably the reason that he's short. Got to catch the cards here, Gary. Absolutely. Some of the hands that the people around him have actually been picking up. He needs a little bit of that look to rub off on him. So uh, let's see what he can do. Cool. McCreer coming forward with the queen nine. 6,000 in. Pass. Pound oblivious here. But cool. we're three way. If Yannick decides to check his option, there's Barry Hearn in the small blind. Seafood hand suited. And the flop. Yannick, not much at all. But an opportunity to improve. Anything can come. Any two can win. And here come three. Pair of cowboys and a nine. And Gary, everybody's got some of this. Something for everybody on this slot. Barry Hearn trapping with his uh, three kings here, and the other two are both sitting there with a nine in their hand. 10,000. Yannick might have done the, the smart thing of checking here. He's now going to find out that John's got some of it, and so is Barry Hearn. Oh. 10,000 bet by McCurick, called by Barry Hearn. And Gary, you're saying that Yannick, with the deuce kicker, remember that fifth card plays, has to know even if somebody's got him beat. Yeah, even if he thinks that John McCurick's actually trying to steal this pot, what's he going to give Barry Hearn to be calling with here? I don't think Barry Hearn's the kind of player that's going to be flat calling with a 10-jack or a queen-jack to actually make a straight. So he really can't fancy his hand at all here. He's either trapping with three kings, Barry Hearn, or he's got a better nine. So um, I'd hope to see Yannick uh, muck his hand. Yannick with a tough problem to work out, but he's taking his time to think about it. He's only got 57,000. He's definitely thinking about it. Race. He's raised. He's taken the aggressive option, Race. and he's not going to be happy 10, about the result because he's beat total. in two spots. But the raise is not too big. A minimum raise. Pass. He's taken McCreerick off the hand, but Hearn's not putting this down. No, I don't think so. I think McCreerick's actually done oh. the, uh, a very good uh, lay down here. He's sitting there with the kings and nines with a queen kicker, and he's recognized that he's in all sorts of trouble, and he's managed to get away from it. I'm actually quite impressed with that play. And... Uh, Yannick's actually given himself a chance to get out of this hand as well by only raising the minimum amount. He's found out that there's a real hand out there, and that queen's probably going to save him. We're head up now. Yannick Rang actually drawing dead. No card can win him this hand, and it's only a question right now if Barry Hearn takes him for any more chips. Action on Baza first. He's not hurrying up about it either. The only bad thing that for the uh, Yannick here is when the Queen's come over, he's going to think his kick is no longer important. He's going to think, wow, well, Kings and Nines with the Queen is probably going to be a split pot if he's got a Nine. So it might be enough for him to uh, lose the rest of his chips. We're just going to have to see if he can get away from it now. Barry really making Yannick sweat here. It's almost unfair. First time playing on a table and Barry Hearn is making him sweat for five minutes. Twenty thousand. Before betting twenty thousand. 